Tuberculosis is a global health problem and the leading cause of death from a single infectious agent. Myanmar is one of the countries with a high tuberculosis burden and high rate of multidrug resistance. Drug-resistant tuberculosis is often identified using a method known as phenotypic drug susceptibility testing, or phenotypic DST, in which bacteria are grown on plates containing known quantities of antibiotics. While simple and cost-effective, this method can be time-consuming and unreliable in some settings. To overcome these limitations, a newer method for identifying drug resistance, known as genotypic DST, was developed, in which the genes responsible for resistance are sequenced. In a study published in 2015, researchers from the Department of Medical Research in Myanmar and the Busan National University School of Medicine in Korea, along with their colleagues, compared the effectiveness of these two methods in identifying drug-resistant tuberculosis in patients in Myanmar. They found that approximately 28% of 191 isolates from these patients were resistant to at least one antibiotic, with 20.9% being multidrug resistant. Interestingly, the overall concordance between the two methods was 99.5%, with only one case demonstrating discordant findings. These results highlight the high incidence of multidrug-resistant tuberculosis among patients in Myanmar and the usefulness of genotypic testing as a routine diagnostic test to identify this drug resistance. This, in turn, could lead to the rapid detection of drug-resistant strains and be invaluable in preventing the transmission of drug-resistant tuberculosis in Myanmar.